Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Saturday, August 10th, 2019. It is 5.53 p.m. in Rochester, New York, Eastern Standard Time. And this is my coping with schizophrenia vlog entry for today. Um, today, I'm doing a little bit better than I was this morning and the day before. I've been having a lot of panic attacks. Not so much paranoia, and not so much hallucinations is just panic attacks um, especially at night when I wake up in the middle of the night I have a tendency to have panic attacks when I'm alone and I'm sleeping and then I wake up in the middle of the night um, I often have to get up in the middle of the night anyways to go to the bathroom because I have a large prostate and then it's difficult to get back to sleep so insomnia has been a big problem um, I take several different medications for anxiety and each one is supposed to do something different. I have a PRN that is as needed clonopin. Um, but I'm only allowed four tablets per month because clonopin is an addictive benzodiazepine tranquilizer. I also take propranolol, which is a anti-hypertension medicine for high blood pressure. But it can also be taken for anxiety, particularly performance anxiety for a musician. Or an actor on stage um, it is what's known as a beta blocker anti-hypertension medication um, it helps slow down the release of adrenaline in the brain and therefore it makes your heart slower it makes your blood pressure drop you feel less of the physical symptoms of anxiety rapid heartbeat heavy breathing shallow quick breathing that kind of thing um, I take a Remember, I'm help me sleep. It's an antidepressant, but I take it for the side effect of making me drowsy so I can get some sleep. Um, I take hydroxyzine, which is an antihistine, but it can also be used for anxiety. Um, I take Seroquel, which is the main antipsychotic medication I take. It can help with anxiety too, but that drug is mainly for the psychotic symptoms of paranoia and hallucinations. Um, I take several medical medications, Flomax for my prostate, and I um, can't think of the other one. Um, but protonics for acid reflux in stomach and digestive problems, and I take laxatives to help me have a bowel movement, because a lot of my psychiatric drugs cause constipation and constipation is also caused by being dehydrated, so I have to drink more fluids than the average person, water preferably. Um, so I'm doing better now today than I was yesterday. And quick note, I noticed that this guy, Epstein, what was, I don't remember his first name, but he's dead because he committed suicide in prison. He's a child molester and child rapist and he committed suicide apparently in federal prison um he deserved to die but the problem with his death is of course that if he had knowledge of any other people raping young girls it disappeared when he died his knowledge so it makes you kind of wonder did, this, did epstein really commit suicide i don't think he did he's in federal custody and he commits suicide i don't think so well and anyways I just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share, and that's all for now.